So I'm going to start off with this, 1910, E98, Napoleon Lajoie. This card is from the famous Lionel Carter collection. It's got the same image on the front as his T206 throwing pose. This is one of those small caramel sets, 30 card set. Just an incredible list of Hall of Famers. Christy Mathewson, John McGraw, Frank Chance, Hannes Wagner, Fred Clark, Roger Bresnahan, Ty Cobb, Hugh Jennings, Chief Bender, Ed Walsh, Cy Young, Minor, Mordecai Brown, Joe Tinker, Johnny Evers, Eddie Collins, and Connie Mack. Those are the ones off the top of my head there from that uh, stacked checklist. Incredible list of Hall of Famers. There we go, E98. Yeah, we got another from 1910 here. This one is from the even harder to find, uh, Standard Caramel E93 from Jefferson Burdick's uh, card catalog. All the caramel cards have E. Actually, all the candy cards have E. It's a great image of Eddie Plank. I like the drab colors in this uh, set. You know, T206 has some nice colors and nice backgrounds, but it's also nice to just have the uh, drab looking uh, colors there. This one's also got a great 30 card checklist on the back. Standard Caramel Company, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Really nice. Tough to find. E93, Eddie Plank. A lot of these I sent into SGC myself, including this designated E90 set one, 1909 to 1911 American Caramel. This is the Cy Young, and this card has been pretty heavily altered, aside from the obvious trimming. Uh, someone has erased or painted over the Boston letters. Boston American on the front. And wrote Cleveland in pencil and on the bottom of the card there. And really like to thank SGC for uh, even grading this and for putting it in a custom fit insert. Not sure if that was custom cut or if it was from another uh, card set that it fit. And they also did that custom plastic sleeve. So this card is right where it needs to be in my collection. Even though it's in pretty rough shape, it's still a great image of the great Cy Young. A lot of these caramel cards have the same uh, images that were taken from the Carl Horner photographs. And then uh, painted for the cards. So a lot of these are the same as the T206, but different colors in the background. It makes them look really uh, stand out different. If you're familiar with a lot of these uh, T206 poses, you can see these caramel cards and seem in a little different light. So I got a bunch of those trimmed uh, E90 set ones when I got that Cy Young. Here's another Hall of Famer, Addy Joss. His career was cut short due to illnesses. I know that the Hall of Fame waived the 10-year uh, requirement. I think he only pitched nine seasons, but uh, he was good. He could have been one of the best if his career wasn't cut so short. Addie Joss, portrait from E90, set one. Huey Jennings is a manager. Ty Cobb's manager. He's got three cards in the T206 set, including this portrait image. 
I believe that has a yellow background for the T206, but uh, Hall of Fame manager and also Bobby Wallace, Hall of Famer, St. Louis Browns. Here's one of my favorites, also from E90 set one, the Joe Tinker, Cubs Hall of Famer. It's a great looking card. Nice back. 100 subjects. Joe Tinker. I also have the Wee Willie Keeler from the same set. American Carmel Company, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And these Carmel cards are less common than their T206 counterparts. Um, hard to find in any condition. Yeah, one theory is that uh, the original owners of these were uh, children, you know? Aside from adults that would buy the uh, cigarette packs, mainly adults. Although you see some stories about people that started smoking at age 11 or whatever and <laughs> collected the TTO6 set, but these caramels are pretty tough to find. Here's my last E90 set one. This is the Eddie Plank. Really a fragile card. You can see it's even kind of coming apart in the holder there. A little bit, you can see the white specks. Some significant corner wear in this one. And really nice looking card of Eddie Plank. These stripes on the hat and the old school Philadelphia uniform. And I got a couple of these. 1909, they're E95s. This is one of the most popular caramel sets. Johnny Evers from Philadelphia Caramel. It's got a great checklist. Hard to read that one. Most likely it was in a scrapbook at some point. Philadelphia Caramel from Camden, New Jersey. The great Johnny Evers. I don't have a T206 Eddie Plank. I do have this. This is one of my favorites. Once again, another one of the E95s. Major back damage and glue residue. But an incredible image of Eddie Plank on the front. And the last one is my oldest one. This is from 1908. American Caramel designated E91 set A. This would be a pre T206 Eddie Plank. It's a great looking card. of the left-handed pitcher and checklist on the back. And there you have it. Those are my Carmel Hall of Fame cards from 1908 to 1911. Thanks for watching.